1500 BCE. Welcome to our channel. In these videos, we will reveal the secrets of sleeping mummy, the beautiful sleeper of Lulan. 1800 BCE, preserved in perfect condition and known as the beautiful sleeper of Lulan. She is one of 200 mummies discovered in the western deserts of Xinjiang, China. Although they sleep eternally, their striking appearances remain a source of mystery and debate. These mummies showcase ethnic diversity in the region, where the Uyghur people still dispute ancient ownership with Chinese rulers. Laulan Beauty met her demise on the Silk Road, a time when it was believed that no Caucasian had ventured so far. Yet, she exhibits Caucasian features with high cheekbones, a prominent nose, and blonde hair. She died in her 40s, still adorned in her red garments, her likely wavy braided hair representing a highly fashionable style 3,800 years ago. Preserved exceptionally well for 3,800 years, Lulan Beauty remains a captivating sight. Tall, luxurious, with finely sculpted features, she is not alone. Another discovered mummy, Churchin Man, with red hair and a height of six feet, was identified as a Chelt through DNA analysis. Their burial on the Silk Road, alongside two other women and an infant, surrounded by hundreds of other European origin mummies in the same region, poses a perplexing puzzle revealing an incredible diversity for Silk Road travelers. Discovered in 1980 during the production of a Silk Road documentary, Lulan Beauty, despite shallow graves and simple mummification rituals, fared much better than Egyptian mummies. The dry soil around the Salt Lake where they were found acted as an ideal preservative. Today, Lulan Beauty rests in a glass chamber in the Autonomous Uyghur Regions Museum in Xinjiang, specially adapted to prevent deterioration. Resembling Snow White more than a sleeping beauty, she won't awaken with a prince's kiss, and her life was undoubtedly not a fairy tale. She succumbed to the harshness of life, traveling the Silk Road to an unknown destination, inhaling a toxic mix of dust sand and smoke from open fires, ultimately destroying her lungs. According to researchers, the diverse group she sat with included warriors, kings, farmers, and craftsmen, all taking their final rest over a thousand years before Caucasians ventured into Asia. The Uyghur people, who appear more European than Asian, immediately claimed Lulan beauty as their ancestor asserting evidence of their presence in the region before the Chinese. This added a contentious point to the study, as the Chinese did not encourage foreign scientists to examine the remains. However, in 1993, Professor Victor H. Mayer from the University of Pennsylvania and Italian geneticist Paolo Francalacci obtained samples and confirmed that the mummies were of European origin, unrelated to the Uyghurs they likely migrated to China from Siberia, to an area once green and hospitable, where people from various cultures, from Han Chinese to Northern Celts, gathered. The long-term implications of this discovery are profound. The ancient world, 3,000 to 4,000 years ago, appears to have been a melting pot more than previously believed, with North European and Asian cultures well aware of each other. It paints a picture of a more global ancient world, making it easier to understand the prevalence of certain myths, stories and arts in various cultures. For example, the endless knot in Celtic thought is also a familiar concept in Chinese art. History, as illuminated by these mummies, challenges our perceptions and enriches our understanding of the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations.